Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, white uh, right triangle uh, CEF fully inscribed uh, in a blue square, uh, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this uh, side length of this uh, white triangle uh, is uh, two units, whereas this other side uh, CE of this triangle is uh, three units. And this angle uh, CEF is uh, 90 degrees. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region, the area of this uh, right triangle, this uh, area and this area combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, green shaded region area is equal to the area of this uh, whole blue square ABCD minus uh, the area of this uh, white uh, triangle uh, CEF as you can see in this given equation. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue square ABCD and the area of this white uh, triangle uh, CEF uh, as well. And here's our next step. Let's label the side lengths uh, of this uh, blue square. Let's assume that this side length of this uh, square is X. Then uh, this side length is going to be X, uh, X and X uh, across the board. And now let's assume uh, this uh, segment uh, length uh, is uh, lowercase uh, a. Then we can see that uh, this remaining uh, segment length uh, is going to be the whole side length X uh, minus the segment uh, A. So this uh, segment length is going to be X uh, minus uh, A. And in this uh, next step, we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue square. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to S square, where S represents the side length of the square. And in our case, the side length of the square is uh, X. So therefore, uh, this uh, blue square's area is going to be X uh, square. And now I'm going to label this one as our equation uh, number one. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, white uh, right triangle uh, EFC. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, white triangle uh, CEF. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times base uh, times height. And in our case, uh, for this uh, white uh, right triangle, uh, this side uh, is our base. And this uh, is the height uh, of this triangle. So therefore, the area of this uh, triangle is going to be a half uh, times our base is uh, 3 units. And our height uh, is 2. And if we simplify, the right hand side is going to give us uh, 3. So thus the area of this uh, white triangle CEF turns out to be 3 square units. And I'm going to label this one as our equation uh, number 2. And now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these uh, two angles, alpha plus beta, must be equal to 90 degrees. Let's assume this angle is uh, alpha. We know this angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, this angle is going to be our angle beta. And we know this uh, angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, uh, this uh, remaining angle is going to be our angle uh, alpha, since this whole angle is a straight angle. And in this uh, triangle, uh, this angle is 90 degrees. This angle is alpha. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be angle beta. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, right triangle uh, CDE and this uh, other right triangle uh, EAF uh, are our similar triangles according to angle-angle similarity theorem. And since uh, these triangles are similar, so therefore, we are going to have a proportion. So therefore, we are going to have a ratio of uh, side a e and f e let me write down uh, a e divided by f e is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, this side uh, c d and this uh, side uh, c e let me write down uh, c d 
divided by C E. And now we can see our A E length uh, is uh, X minus A. So I'm going to replace this one by X minus uh, A. Our F E length uh, is uh, 2. So I'm going to replace this one by 2. And we can see our uh, this uh, C D length is X. So I'm going to replace this X by C D by X rather. And finally this uh, C E length uh, is uh, 3. So I'm going to replace it by 3 over here. As you can see in this uh, next step, now we are going to cross multiply. So therefore we are going to get uh, 3 times x uh, minus uh, 3 times a equal to 2 times uh, x. And now in this uh, next step I am going to move this uh, 3a on the right hand side. And at the very same time I am going to move this uh, 2x uh, in the opposite direction. So therefore we can write uh, 3x uh, minus uh, 2x turns out to be equal to positive 3a. So therefore x uh, turns out to be 3 times uh, a. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 3 to isolate a. So this 3 and 3 is gone. So therefore uh, our lowercase uh, a could be written as uh, x uh, divided by 3. And I'm going to label this one as our equation uh, number 3. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle CDE. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case our hypotenuse is 3 while other two legs are uh, lowercase a and x. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x uh, square plus A square equal to 3 square. Let's simplify that is going to give us uh, x square plus a square equals to 9. And now let's make an observation from equation 3. Our a value is uh, x divided by 3. So therefore I'm going to substitute uh, for a x uh, divided by 3 over here. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced a by x divided by 3. So therefore we can write this thing x square plus uh, x square divided by 9 equals to 9. And here we can factor out uh, x square. So we got uh, 1 plus uh, 1 divided by 9 turns out to be equal to 9. And now we can see 1 plus 1 divided by 9 is same as uh, 10 divided by 9. So therefore we can write uh, 10 uh, x square divided by 9 equals to 9. Now I'm going to isolate x square so I am going to multiply by 9, 9 divided by 10 on this side and 9 divided by 10 on this side uh, as well. And here we can see 10, 10 cancels out, 9, 9 cancels out. So therefore our x square value turns out to be 81 divided by 10. And if we simplify furthermore our x square is going to be equal to 8.1 square units. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this equation 1. And here we copy down our equation 1. Blue square area equals to x square. And we figured out our x square value as 8.1. So I'm going to substitute that value over here as 8.1. So therefore this uh, blue square area turns out to be 8.1 square units. And now let's focus on this equation 2 as well. And here we copy down equation 2 over here. The white uh, triangle uh, CEF area is 3. And here's our uh, final step. Let's recall this equation once again. The green shaded area equals to the blue square area minus the white triangle uh, CEF area. And here we figured out our blue square area and here we figured out our white triangle CEF area. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation. We got uh, 8.1 minus uh, 3 that is going to give us uh, 5.1 square units. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, green shaded region turns out to be 5.1 square units and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.